you have tried and tried to resolve it, but frankly, this case cannot resolve. Your client is factually innocent. Would you kindly walk us through what happens at a trial? There are many cases that cannot be resolved. And as you say, factual innocence um, Factual innocence leads to jury trials. You hope, by the way, that if you're a decent lawyer and you've got a factually innocent client, that you have enough skills so that you can convince the prosecutor of the factual innocence. That's a big deal. It's a really big deal. You don't, you don't have that many purely innocent clients, but you have enough that you, you know, when it happens, you have to convince the prosecutor. If you can't and you go to trial, Remember what the trial is all about. Twelve people come in. Twelve people, this is in the Constitution, trial by jury. Twelve people come in from all walks of life. You pick the twelve people, and those twelve people sit and they hear the evidence. At the end of hearing the evidence, the judge instructs the twelve, you must find beyond a reasonable doubt that this person who's sitting there in the dock committed this offense. And it's a big deal. Beyond a reasonable doubt is a big deal. It's hard to prove, and it's good for it's good to protect people. And that's what our system's all about. And that's one of the reasons why we're we're really proud of it. We're proud to be part of a system that puts puts the onus, the burden on the prosecution to prove their case. The defense doesn't have to do a thing. The defendant doesn't have to testify. The defendant doesn't have to put on witnesses. The defendant doesn't have to do a thing. You sit there and you say, Mr. Prosecutor, Madam Prosecutor, prove it.